Hey guys, it's Max, and we're back with Battle Code 2015. In the last episode, I showed how some of our guards were not catching up to the pack. They got distracted, and the pack got farther away. Let's have them remember the Archon's location so that they can test to see whether they're close enough to it, or whether they need to go and leave what they're doing to try to catch up to the pack again. I'll define a map location in this scope here. We'll store the Archon location here so that it's accessible to other methods. Then later on, when we're reading the message and getting the Archon location, I'll delete the word map location here. And that means that we're using this variable in the broader scope and not in a restricted scope here in this method. Okay, now we need to use that Archon location in utility to check whether we're close enough to the Archon. This is the method here called forwardish, where we're moving forward, um, but we're actually more interested in the repeat method. This is where we decide whether to move forward or to attack, and it's attacking that's really getting us stuck. So here we check that there are opponents nearby and that we can attack. Let's also check that we're not too far from our Archon, or more accurately, the pack. We'll call it int dist to pack and equals our location distance squared to archon location. Assuming the archon is located roughly at the same location as the pack. And we'll make sure that our distance to the pack is less than, remember this is a square distance, maybe little as 36. You could change that number, and playing with these numbers is an important part of getting your strategy right. Or, more accurately, changing your strategy to be different from mine is how to get a good strategy. So, uh, yeah, now we can build, and we're going to look to see that our robots are not getting too distracted. We're trying to see that they are keeping up with the pack, and that everybody's staying together. We could have begun the lecture series by spawning multiple robots and uh, collecting parts and doing a more econ-focused build, but... Oh no, our robots have exploded. Why? It's a null pointer exception, because we didn't initialize the value of Archon location. In the first couple of turns, the robot hasn't received a message yet, indicating where is that Archon. So we can start by initializing this location to some real number. So we'll set Archon location to begin with, just for the first turn, equals rc.getLocation. OK, now we'll run again. Being able to read and interpret those console errors and find the error in your code is pretty important. So I'll go ahead and leave that in there as if I planned it. OK, so now our robots are making sure to stay within, uh, within a certain radius. And I think overall, it's giving us a much better looking result. I mean, whether it is better is up to question, but you can see that these guys have left this yummy target behind because they're more interested in following the pack. Some of their motion is a little bit strange. I think the um, paths located, the visited tiles map length is a little bit long. But overall, you can see the effect is, uh, is the one that we were looking for, and our player just gets better and better. Um, there might be another video after this, but there might not. And if there isn't, then uh, happy coding, and uh, see you in the sprint tournament. Bye-bye.